Number four, like-minded people. That is a resource from heaven. Okay, You need to be around other standards. You need to be around other people who are believing what you're believing. Hebrews 10.25, this is not the time. This is not the time to pull away and neglect meeting together. If you're not in church, get in church. Every one of you, find a church. Well, my spouse or my, my pastor doesn't believe in standing. Fine, don't go to him for standing encouragement. Come to us. We'll give you in standing encouragement. Go to them to worship with believers. Go to them to have community. Go to them so they see the miracle happen in your life when it happens. Okay? This is not the time to pull away, neglecting meeting together, as some have formed the habit of doing. And he's saying, look, people do it. This is just what happens. People stop meeting together because we need each other. In fact, we should come together even more frequently, eager to encourage us and urge us onward as we anticipate the day dawning. Now, I understand this verse is about the day of Christ coming in the clouds and returning. I get it. That's the, that's, that's the context of the verse. But you and I, what day are we looking for dawning? Huh? What encouragement do we need? What way do we need to urge each other on as we anticipate that day dawning? What that day? The restoration of your family. We need each other. This is why in the small group, in the academy, we, have, we break you into small groups. We get you a connection with other Sanders. And you now have, you start having a community and you start having chats and you have like message boards. And, and we come together every week in the academy because we create a small group for you because you need that. It's important. We must continue to meet and get connected. Like-minded people. Like-minded. We need to have people who believe what we believe. 